The Cumbres and Toltec Scenic Railroad is a top-notch tourist line running between Chama, New Mexico and Antonito, Colorado. It's May 27, 2017, and the first eastbound train of the tourist season has just arrived at the 10,000-foot Cumbres Summit. The Cumbres and Toltec runs two trains each day. One departs Antonito and the other departs Chama. Both trains were designed to meet at Osier, Colorado, where passengers stop for lunch. The train crossed Highway 17 and came to a stop. The train made a brief stop to set out its first four cars on the siding. Helper engine 487 came back over the road crossing. Despite the cool temperatures, fire suppression vehicles follow every train over the mountain. The crew discussed the game plan with the firemen on the watering and turning of number 487. Engine 487 is a K36 and has 44-inch driving wheels that can exert 36,200 pounds of tractive effort. Rio Grande bought 10 of these engines in 1925. Nine of the 10 are still in existence, with number 485 scrapped after it crashed into the turntable pit in Salida in 1955. All wasn't lost, however, as number 485 became a part source that kept its sisters going. After refilling its tender with water, number 487 headed into the siding, which was needed in order to access the Y track. The temperature was cool but not freezing. As long as the sun was out, it was very comfortable.
Although convenient, the snow shed protecting the end of the Y from snow buildup was showing its age. Reinforcements were needed to help keep it standing. Locomotive 315 was the helper for the westbound train from Antonito. When it arrived at Osier, it was cut off and ran light to the summit at Cumbres. We caught it as it passed Los Pinos. This spot is famous for its sharp horseshoe curve. The few homes here are a real throwback in time, with no plumbing, electricity, or internet. But they do offer a great view of the track. Number 315 is one of the older engines being used, having been built by Baldwin Locomotive Works in 1895. It has a 280 wheel arrangement and is a model C18. The eastbound train from Chama set out its first four cars on the siding at Cumbres. Engine 315 was on its way to turn on the Y and hook onto those four cars as it will be used on a dinner train running from Cumbres to Antonito later in the day. About 20 minutes later, the westbound train from Antonito came into view. Engine 463 was the road power today. This Baldwin 282 was built in 1903 and is a K27. This type was commonly referred to as a mud hen. Out of the 15 K27s that were built, only two survive today. Number 463 seen here and 464 on the Huckleberry Railroad in Michigan. Number 463 was purchased in 1955 by Gene Autry, but he never used it and by 1971 donated it to the city of Antonito for static display. This locomotive was way too historic to be rusting away somewhere as a display item. By 1994, the Cumbres and Toltec restored it and put it back in operating condition. These engines had 40-inch drivers and 27,000 pounds of tractive effort. Oddly, sister engine 464 was the last mud hen to be retired from service on the Rio Grande in 1962. In 1973, Knott's Berry Farm acquired the 464 with the intention of running it on their track. Unfortunately, the mud hen was too heavy for their track, and it kept tearing up the rails, so it didn't see much use. In 1981, it was sent to the Huckleberry Railroad, where it has been restored and put back in service. So, both mud hens that survive today are in operating condition.
The train made a water stop at Los Pinos. As convenient as it would be to run a second tender, that wasn't how they operated back in the day. This was just another aspect of steam railroading that got lost in a dieselized world. A man in the open air car can be heard narrating and pointing out items of interest as the train rolled by. With a full tank of water, the train continued its ascent to Cumbre Summit. Back at Cumbres, number 315 has been turned and coupled to its dinner train, awaiting its departure about 10 minutes after number 463 arrived with its train. The aromatic fragrance of cinder smoke was strong and very pleasing to the senses. The last call to board signal was given. Photographers were out in force to record this mini steam fest. All the passengers arrived on buses.
We followed the westbound as it descended Cumbres Pass to Chama. As the day advanced, the clouds were increasing. The Chama water tank and coal tower made a great finishing touch for our final run by. Thanks for joining us today.